Okay, today we're going to talk about bug control. Danielle loves bugs. So we're going to. the big Florida ones. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to tell you how to get more bugs in your house. Right? No, we're going to tell you how to get rid of them without hiring a service. Yes, no service required. It's what we've been doing for years and it seems to work really well for us. So y'all stay tuned and we'll give you all our secrets. So, one of the first products we started using when we uh, lived in Texas and we had horrible ant problems, hay dance, uh, is home defense. Is that the right way? Home defense. Ortho home defense. So, this product is rather inexpensive. This jug lasts us for a few years or more because we only spray maybe once or twice a year. Yeah. And that keeps the bugs down. And uh, we spray on places like around the doors, around the windows, inside and out. We spray underneath appliances and things like that, behind appliances. You gotta be really careful though, because it is a poison and you don't want your young kids or animals to crack into it. It's not good for them, make them sick. Anything else you can say about home defense? Well, we do um, spray the entire outside perimeter of our house. Always fun. And uh, we probably do that once a year. And that has really helped from any kind of cockroaches, um, ants, I'll leave. Uh, any kind of bug you can think of that wants to enter your home, it literally, they cross over the path and they die. Mm -hmm. I know that's sad, but you know, you can't have a bug infested house. I mean, but also inside the house, um, if you have animals, just limit to spraying underneath things that the animals don't have access to. So, a little bit small. We have a fat puppy, so he doesn't fit under there. And if you have no animals, you can spray into things like your beds and uh, around the edge of the house and things like that you know, on the inside. So, just spray countertops and stuff like that. that no. That's poison. You don't want that. Keep it on food. the floor. Yeah. But so you can spray around the edge. Most bugs crawl along the edge of your house. So that will pretty much ensure their destruction. But one thing this product does not, well, it does kill them. Ants, those little sugar ants that get into your house. Well, we had that problem in Texas. Kind of never really got rid of it. It they took care of them a bit. Year. Yeah, they came back every year, but they we could kind of get rid of them, a, you know, most of the time. Here, when we moved here, I don't know what it was. We're like sitting on an ant mound or something mm -hmm. because um, they were coming into the kitchen. We followed the trail. We killed the trail. And then it came back in a different area. And so my sister recommended liquid ant bait. Yes, and we use this brand because it's inexpensive and it seems to work very well. Um, you can put it in obscure locations. You want to also make sure that you keep this out of an area where, it's, this is two of them, where pets can access to it because it's sweet. Or kids, they may want to drink it too. It's probably not good for you because it kills ants. Yeah. So put this in a, like underneath a uh, appliance where dogs and kids can't get to and the ants can because they're really small. But we use it differently than what's recommended. Uh, they say to, you know, snap this part off and then kind of just lay it and the ants will be, will go in there. No, they do not. Um, so we just take a little dab, we squeeze a little dab in, the, in their trail and then all of a sudden they start congregating around that and then they take it back to their nest because it does not kill them right away. They take it back to their nest and we haven't seen ants in a while because it killed the nest. So it's just like when the, the Terminex guy comes out there and puts that little blob of stuff that the, the ant bait or 
uh, bug bags. Yeah, sticky stuff. Well, they yeah. sing here, but you want to put this up where, of course, kids and dogs or cats and things like that can't access it and can't lick it. If you are, are uh, fearful of that, just break off the tip and slide it underneath the appliance or where, where something can't get to it. Ensure that when you break this off, the bugs have plenty of lip here to crawl in here and, and get some just, of it. you know, an open thing that they can't get into. But they also, um, what I've noticed with this stuff is after it's done, about a week later, it dries up to an, like crystallized sugar looking stuff because I tried to get it up and it was really, really sticky. And so I just left it there and then it crystallized. We vacuumed it, we sterilized and it Good was go. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Good to go. No more If you try to clean it up right away, it's very sticky. But those are actually the, really the only two poisons we use. We don't use the Raid, kills bugs on contact, oh, or things works. like that. It never works. <laughs> and uh, things, the, the baits actually, I think the baits actually work the best. The or Ortho Home Defense, it just lasts so long. So it, you kind start, of what creates this barrier around your house that um, bugs do not want to cross. <laughs> But there's a, there's a, another solution on top of, you know, baits and poisons that you want to use and you want to do this regularly. Regularly? Regularly. <laughs> it's called cleaning your home. Vacuuming, and, cleaning countertops, keeping so, food off the floor. If you don't have food or, or, or things that would attract bugs or things that are hungry, like insects or... Dogs or Worst rodents. rodents. Oh rodents. my gosh, if there was a rodent in my house, I would not live here. <laughs> but clean your house. And one thing, you know, we, we have the big Kirby vacuum cleaner. And whew, that's exhausting. That's that like, is. it's like a, 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 a thousand pound oh, tank yeah, type vacuum cleaner. Great vacuum cleaner, but not for daily use. Um, we have to clean daily because of the fact that the dog and our hair gets everywhere. And food. Our, our kid, he goes in there and makes stuff and drops things Kids off. Kids are notorious for leaving crumbs everywhere. So, something like this, you can pick these up pretty cheap. I, I did, we did do a video on this one. This one's been, we're about to do a six month review on this. It's been great. But something like this will really help keep crumbs down and it helps keep the dust down, which attracts also bugs. Mm -hmm. There are bugs that eat they dust. Love clutter. They love hairballs. I mean, we used to find dead bugs in hairballs. It was so disgusting. I mean, they were dying. The bugs were dying, but it wasn't being kept up, and they were coming in the house. Now we haven't seen any bugs ever since we've been doing that, and then, of course, our other stuff. But the home defense, the bait, and the dweeb, uh, or robot Deep vacuum. Out. Deep it's a debug, but we call it dweeb. And the bugs, the bugs are gone. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that there will be spats of them. We're about to hit rainy season in Florida. Yeah, but that's when they like to come in. And so that's the reason why we we spray. And because we really don't want that Just spray. Again. Yeah. So we don't want the, the bugs in. And... She loves bugs so much, but she loves them well, outside. disgusting. I mean, cockroaches. I have never had a cockroach in my house in my life since, until I moved here. Like, what is with Florida and cockroaches? We live next to a pond. Yes, We pond. live on a pond. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's, that's a major one because I kept thinking they were coming in because we weren't being clean enough or something, and, but there was no food left. We didn't know where they were coming from until people started telling us, well, it's the pond out there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, great. So we only spray maybe uh, once or twice a year, and but the around the doors and the windows we spray probably every other month just to keep the bugs down and uh, you know under appliances and things like that, things that we just want to thoroughly saturate. Also, clean is a must. You have to keep your house clean, or it just invites right. critters. Or these Cabins, insects. Um, floors. I mean, you just got to keep up the food. Mainly food is what brings them in. Yes. You know, crumbs. And you don't even know you're making a crumb. And dust. It just falls. just falls on the floor, you know. 
Oh, probably even dust comes from um, skin, skin part. cells. And yeah. Stuff. So, love that. and that's where you get things like bed bugs and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta keep that down. Now, hopefully, this was helpful for you. And now that you have a really clean house, check out our recipe blog. We cook new recipes every week, and. He's getting closer and closer. <laughs> we cook new recipes every well. She cooks them. I eat them. I eat new recipes every week. And, Tested and approved. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, they are tested and approved, and I develop them myself. Um, come up with ideas, go cook them, everybody likes them, test them out for a few more times and tweak them and then it becomes a recipe. Yeah. And the recipes are great the next day too. If you don't have two boys eating them all. <laughs> I, you know, you read these, they're awesome if there's any left. Well, we only have one that still lives in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we have one that comes back every now and then too. But, he uh, my baby. he does. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there. Looks like this. And uh, go ahead and just dislike it twice. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> and y'all, please take care.